Very often you will have to pass data to the view from the controller. There are more ways of achieving that. If you can keep the same variable name, best way is to use compact function. Let's see how it works. But before that, we need to point one of our routes to the controller. Now I'm going to clear all the functions and routes that we are not using anymore. Now here we are returning the view and up here we are going to create a variable called title. And now using the compact function we are going to define a variable name. Now how we can display the variable content that we just passed. There are two ways. First one is used in most cases unless you want to render HTML code. Great, as you can see it works. Let's see what we will get if we have HTML code in the variable. I'm just going to add some h1 tags. As you can see HTML code is not rendered. Now what we can do is we can use double exclamation mark here in the view and the HTML code is now being rendered. But keep in mind that this is disabling protection from cross-site scripting and HTML injection attacks. Let's see how we can use different variable name from the one in the controller. Now all you need to do is instead of using compact function define the array as a second parameter and the array key should be the variable name you want to use in the view. So let's say this is main title and the value of the of this key is pointing to the variable we want to use. And if we try to print out main title, it should work. And as you can see, it does.